Not many people may know that the main actor in the Ip Man movie is Donnie Yen. This Chinese-born man rose to fame with his skills in various martial arts, particularly Wing Chun. His proficiency in multiple martial arts has led people to compare him with Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White is also an actor in several action films, thanks to his expertise in Taekwondo and other forms of martial arts. White is even noted as holding black belts in seven different karate styles. So, if they were to face off in a fight, who would win? But before deciding who is superior, perhaps watching their performances in films could help you determine the victor. Let's start with Donnie Yen's action scenes in Ip Man 4, where he goes up against Scott Adkins. At the beginning of the fight, Yen appears to struggle with Adkins' quick and powerful attacks. His opponent's punches even manage to draw blood from Yen. There is even a moment when Yen is thoroughly beaten, leaving him unable to continue the fight. Despite this, the Wing Chun master refuses to give up and rises once again to continue the battle. After regaining his footing, Yen lands a decisive blow on his opponent. Finally, a submission hold from Donnie Yen leaves his opponent unable to stand. Donnie Yen has also faced a karate master who held a black belt. Will he win the fight? Impressively, at the start of the battle, Yen quickly unleashed a series of rapid punches, causing his opponent to feel the pain immediately. Not only that, with his dazzling yet lethal Tesso technique, Yen was able to put immense pressure on the Karate Master. On top of that, by blending defensive techniques with offensive strikes, he left his opponent truly struggling. In the final moments, the Wing Chun master delivered a powerful punch, securing his victory. Even more epic is the scene in Ip Man 3, where the legendary boxer Mike Tyson takes on Donnie Yen in a three-minute fight. With his signature boxing style, Tyson initially gained the upper hand, using his powerful punches to push Yen back. In fact, one of Tyson's blows sent Yen retreating a significant distance. Not willing to concede, the Wing Chun master then adopted his strongest stance and invited Tyson to come at him. This stance allowed Yen to continuously land blows on the boxing legend. And it didn't stop there. Yen even managed to bring the fight to the ground, where he unleashed a barrage of consecutive punches. One could say that such skills were developed through intense training behind the scenes. For example, in this moment, we see Donnie Yen training with a punching bag, refining his strikes. In addition to his punches, this Wing Chun master frequently trains his kicks to become stronger and deadlier. An epic battle also unfolded when Yen faced a Tai Chi master. In this fight, both Yen and the Tai Chi Master exchange punches and kicks, showcasing their unique styles. After some time, they transitioned into a one-handed duel, continuing to fight fiercely. Even in the final moments, the intensity of the battle remained high. And what about Michael Jai White? In the movie Never Back Down, No Surrender, White demonstrates how to teach a lesson to someone who is overly arrogant. During one particular scene, White is mocked and challenged to a fight, which he naturally accepts. What do you even call that? Tie bro? When they fought, White used a kick technique that left his opponent visibly in pain. Not only that, when White was attacked again, he managed to counter the strikes with exceptional skill. Even more impressive was his lethal punch technique, which appeared so powerful that it caused significant pain to his opponent. By the end of the fight, White's attacks were so severe that his opponent had to be rushed to the hospital.
An equally tense moment occurs in the same film when White faces off against three enemies, two of whom are armed. Can White win the fight? Throughout the confrontation, White successfully holds his ground without suffering any injuries. What's more impressive is that despite being attacked by multiple opponents at once, White still manages to fight back fiercely. Eventually, he defeats two of his opponents, leaving only the Samurai. Initially, the Samurai had the upper hand due to his weapon, which seriously injured White. However, in the end, White triumphs by landing a devastating blow using two metal pipes. White also fought professionally in the ring during one of his films. Could he really win the match? In the early moments, both fighters seemed full of energy, trading blows in their efforts to claim victory. Soon after, White managed to corner his opponent, causing him to lose some balance and awareness. Unfortunately, a few minutes later, White made a mistake, resulting in his leg being caught in a painful lock. Despite this setback, White was still able to turn the tables, eventually knocking his opponent out cold. In another film, White once again displays his skills, this time facing off against a man in a suit. At the beginning of the fight, it was clear that both fighters had comparable abilities. However, Moments later, the man in the suit became overwhelmed, allowing White to easily unleash his attacks. Finally, a powerful spinning kick sent his opponent crashing to the ground. So, with all the previous clips in mind, who is the greatest? Some experts suggest that both White and Yen have their own strengths and weaknesses. White is known for his powerful strikes, while Yen relies on his quick and precise attacks. Nonetheless, some experts conclude that White would likely win in a fight against Yen. This conclusion is based on White's striking power, which ranges from 220 to 230 pounds. In contrast, Yen's strikes generate only around 165 pounds of force, 